For us, and especially K-pop fans, 2020 was not a cheerful year. Unfortunately, the bad news might still continue up to 2021 because this year, many famous groups are speculated to have high chances of disbanding. Before I start the video, there is some good news for you guys, especially Bjulharangs. It is the chance to talk with Chungha personally on the Koo's exclusive fan q and I'm hosting an exclusive fan Q&A with the Koo's where I will see you guys and respond directly to your questions. All you have to do is simply upload a video of a question you want to ask me inside the Koo's app. Make it fun, be creative, and vote for all of your favorite videos and I will choose uh, the top questions to respond to you personally. So Chungha will not only meet with you virtually, but will respond directly to you through a personal video that is shareable. Sounds super exciting, right? What are you waiting for? Let's impress Chungha with your video. Perhaps you can challenge her to do a dance or do her best impression, or create your edited video that you think will entertain her and that she can respond to. Once you uploaded your video, you can use the share button on the right-hand corner to send it to all your friends through Messenger and social media services. Don't forget to include hashtag AskChungha. The event starts right now and will end on February 21st at 11.59 p.m. EST. So hurry up and good luck to everyone! Now let's start the video. The first group on the list is none other than GOT7. GOT7 was formed by JYP in 2014 and has been one of the most famous boy groups of Gen 3. While it was first said that all the members would renew their contract with the company after they expired in January 2021, things actually went the opposite. The rumor about GOT7 not staying with JYP was everywhere in the last few months. And on January 11th, JYP has officially confirmed the group's disbandment after the contract expired, leaving many regrets and sorrows for the Agase community. In fact, fans have already known that the relationship between JYP and GOT7 hasn't been going well for a long time, so it's not a shock for them to know GOT7 will disband at the end of this month. According to reports, after the contract ends, Chin Young will be signing with BH Entertainment. Yu Kyung is rumored to be signing with AOMG. Young Chai is rumored to be signing with Sublime Artist. Jackson will be continuing with his team Wang. And Mark will be returning to America, where he'll be preparing his own YouTube channel. Facing the news, fans' opinions were heavily polarized. On the one hand, some think that GOT7 leaving JYP is a right choice, regarding all the mistreatments that the group has been enduring in the past few comebacks. On the other hand, some fans can't face the truth that GOT7 is disbanding because they will never see the group as a whole ever again. However, there is a light hope. Though some people believe that GOT7 is fulfilling the seven-year curse of K-pop, that didn't seem to be true. GOT7 themselves have stated that they all want to keep going as GOT7 with the same seven members. That means that there are high chances they would be in the same situation with SNSD, where technically, the girls are still a group but the members are under different agencies. Yet, fans of Laboom, didn't seem to be as fortunate, because the seven-year jinx was totally applicable to this group. Despite debuting in the same year with GOT7, the girls seem to be not doing as well as their peers. Though Laboom has been active for six years, the group still struggles to maintain a solid domestic and international fan base. The first reason to be named was their originating from two low-reputation companies, NH Media and Nega Network. The second was the mismanagement caused by their company. Specifically, in 2017, NH Media even used Laboom's Instagram to promote their participants on JTBC's Mix 9. Coincidentally, whereas the three members of Laboom were participating in the survival show KBS's The Unit to gain more exposure for themselves, there was absolutely no mention or promotion of their activities. Their Instagram account also failed to inform fans with the departure of Yulhi early on. In fact, the unstable fanbase of Laboom was partly the result of the mismanagement caused by Global H Media a parent company of NH Media. Also, in 2017, Laboom was attacked for their suspicious behavior when winning over IU at Music Bank. The speculation was that the agency bought tons of albums to hike up the sales and secure their win. The third group to be named is Lovelies. Lovelies debuted in 2014 under Wooleam Entertainment, a relatively small company. Though Lovelies initially didn't stand out from the ocean of girl groups following the same cute, innocent concept, Thanks to the massive hit, Achu, released in October 2015, the group quickly earned public recognition. Back then, their iconic sneezing dance move was so fun that it went super viral and was covered by many famous idols. Sadly, Lovelies is what people call one-hit wonders, because all of their later songs could never be equally popular. Besides the poor performance on music charts, 
Since the group has been mistreated multiple times by Wulim Entertainment, there are obviously high chances that the members will not renew their contracts with the company in 2021. Another famous name that is speculated to disband in 2021 is none other than Red Velvet. Similar to many groups on this list, Red Velvet also debuted in 2014, and their contract would also expire in 2021. Obviously, Red Velvet is also super vulnerable to the notorious seven-year curse of K-pop. Besides the extended hiatus of Wendy after her injuries at SBS's Gaio Daijun in December 2019, Red Velvet also faced many difficulties after the behavior scandal of Irene in 2020. In fact, the group had to cancel all their promotional activities, including an online fan sign, due to the scandal. With the introduction of the subunit Irene Solgi, Yuri's regular solo appearance on YouTube, and Joy starting to step into the acting career, it seemed like things didn't go very well for Red Velvet as a group. Moreover, because SM often doesn't disband a group right away, but puts them on an indefinite hiatus instead, with some members promoting as soloists or in units, fans doubt that they can still see Red Velvet as a whole in the near future. Some even said they might end up being another FX. The next name on the list is Sonamu, a girl group debuting in December 2014 and having their contract expiring in 2021. The group must have had a hard time starting the career because they came from a company known for mistreating BAP and TRCMG. In fact, they must have been through a hard time under the management of TS Entertainment because in 2019, two members of Sonamu, Nahyun and Sumin, have already filed lawsuits against the company to terminate their contract. Besides, according to the industry insiders, Nahyun and Sumin are not the only Sonamu members looking to terminate their TS Entertainment contract, adding that other members are currently preparing to make their own requests. Moreover, since the group hasn't had any impressive music records and Nahyun already got involved in a dating scandal in 2018 with JBJ's Jungkook, they faced many criticisms from netizens. Combining these with the fact that Sonamu has never truly had a solid fanbase in both South Korea and internationally, it's very likely they will be disbanding in 2021. Another name that might leave many people in sorrow is Winner. Debuting under YG, one of the most powerful entertainment companies of the K-pop industry, and having bags of talents, Winner is still highly vulnerable to the mystery seven-year jinx. In fact, their speculated disbandment has nothing to do with their performance on music charts. Instead, things stem from the way YG treated and promoted Winner. The first storm that came to Winner was the departure of Taehyun. Though he later explained that he didn't leave on bad terms and wanted to live as himself, many fans were still upset and left the fandom. After the controversy, Winner scarcely made comebacks, though most of their releases were pretty successful. Moreover, in 2019, Lee Sung-hoon got involved in the drug scandal with Icon's B.I. This also pushed the group to another extended hiatus. As you all have known about how quickly B.I. left Icon after the scandal, lots of Winner's fans have been afraid that if Sung-hoon leaves, then the whole group will discontinue their contract with YG. Moreover, the fact that Sung-hoon once warned aspiring idols to steer clear of auditioning for YG Entertainment in Yu Hu Yul's sketchbook also makes people believe that Winner would soon disband. Being a small group from a not-so-famous management agency, Very Good might also end up disbanding in 2021. In 2018, Very Good broke down in tears at their comeback showcase, Free Travel. During the event, leader Teha opened up about the enduring hardships and said that being idols is hard and Free Travel could be their last album. She also expressed sadness because, despite all the hard work, the group still failed to gain public attention. In fact, Very Good has been through multiple members' changes. So, member Gu Woon got super worried about the group's future. In 2019, Barry Good's leader Teha announced that she would leave the group because the contract had expired. With the departure of such an important member and the failure to prove their potential to the public, it's nearly certain that later this year, Barry Group would disband. Ending the video, I'm going to talk about the group with the shortest active life compared to the whole list, Eyes One. Debuting in 2018 after the survival show of Mnet, Produce 48, the group was rumored to disband in April 2021. Since this is just a project group with the initial plan to last for two years only, it's very likely Eyes One will disband in 2021 after four years of promotion. Though the group has been doing super well and have neither issues with the management agency nor between the members, they would still have to disband because that's what's stated in the contract. Hopefully after their disbandment, fans can see the members thriving under different groups. So which disbandment do you find the hardest to accept? Are there any other groups likely to disband this year that I forgot to mention? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as I've mentioned above, The Coos is a very friendly K-pop community with healthy content pulled from different K-pop sources around the world. This app allows you to customize your favorite idols on your homepage and browse through news or contents of your biases without mixing up with other artists. 
The best part is, in this community, you can discuss, share, and post your own K-pop content and get to meet other fans. Even meet with K-pop artists through the fan Q&A. In short, this is a little packet of all your K-pop needs in one place. No need to spend your precious time searching for bits on Google anymore. Download the Coos for free now with the link in the description down below. See you in the next video.